Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about drop zones in Final Cut Pro. So right here, I have this two up adjustment layer from FX Factory that's free. I'll try and have a link in the description. And you can see I have a drop zone on the right hand side. So what that drop zone allows me to do is apply a clip to it so that it can play out in my video just as though I had added it directly on my timeline. So I'll go ahead and jump into my browser and let's say I want to apply this clip of this guy with his backpack. All I need to do is select the title that has the drop zone. We'll go over to the right hand side, find this drop zone well, click on it, and then just find the actual image that you want to show up in that drop zone. Now you'll notice a problem. This particular clip is too far off to the left hand side. Now this drop zone actually has the ability for me to shift it over to the right hand side using these sliders, but sometimes you don't get those features in your drop zone. So I wanted to show you this really great tip. I actually discovered this on Ripple Training's YouTube channel, so big shout out to them. But if you look at your drop zone, rather than needing to deal with these sliders, you can actually just double click directly on the clip that you wanna shift and you can move it over and you'll see how it kind of gives me this transparent version of it in the background. You can also scale it up in the drop zone just like so, so that you can very, very quickly apply it onto your timeline. Now there are some things you should know about drop zones. Firstly, let's say that I wanted to apply this same drop zone. I'll bring it down, but it's directly off of the timeline. You're gonna notice a problem pretty quickly. So I have my two up, I'll go ahead and select it and we'll push apply. And you'll notice we have the drop zone here. It's a completely different frame, but what's even worse is that it is actually a freeze frame. So it's not even gonna play like it normally should. If you need to use something directly off the timeline rather than using it from your media browser up here, which is where it will play completely normally, then what you're gonna need to do is actually right click and select new compound clip on that media. And then if you use the drop zone and use that compound clip, you can see it's going to play just like it normally would, thus solving your problem. It's just a weird random problem. I'm not sure why it does that. Another thing is drop zone timing doesn't work in the way you might expect. So you might expect that the drop zone is going to apply the clip at the same place where my playhead is. So the playhead's over here. You would expect that when I click on this moment right here, that's where it would show up in the right hand side. But that is not the case. It's actually basing it off the very first frame. So I'll push apply. If I go to the very first frame, that very first frame is where I just clicked. So again, if I have my playhead at the very beginning, we can get an accurate estimate of where it's going to play out. So we want this to be the first frame. You'll see how they are an identical first frame right here and right here. So it's just based off of the very first frame of where the drop zone appears. So just keep that in mind. If you want the most accurate estimate of where your drop zone is beginning, just move your playhead to the very beginning and then go ahead and select it from this well here on the right hand side and you should be set. Now there is one other tip with drop zones that I think that everybody should know about. So I have this Patreon logo here and let's say I want to animate this logo using AdMotion, which is one of my favorite plugins of all time. You'll see that as the logo is playing in here, I'll make it even more drastic. Because this logo has a square aspect ratio, it's actually cutting it off at the edge. Now the typical fix is to use a compound clip, which is a really great way to solve this issue. So you would get rid of AdMotion motion, you turn this into a compound clip, which will then turn it into a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And then if I apply that animation, we will no longer have that problem. The one issue with this is let's say you accidentally made it too short. Well, you would need to jump into the compound clip and extend it out within the compound clip and then jump back out before you could extend it on the timeline. So that is where I find drop zones really handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the animation off this. I'm gonna jump into the adjustment layers and use this drop zone adjustment layer from FX Factory. And we will locate the logo that we wanna use. So I'm gonna select the drop zone 
And this time we're just gonna select the Patreon logo and then I can double click on that and shrink it down because it's got that circle. So now, rather than being within a compound clip, I can actually apply add motion to this. It's gonna retain all the animations just like before, which is really, really nice. But what's even better is now I can extend out this drop zone as much as I need to without needing to actually jump into the compound clip. So that's just a quick tip. It might be worth trying to use a drop zone over a compound clip in certain circumstances.